Good morning everyone. I am back home now in beautiful Hampshire and it feels so so lovely to be back. If you missed my last vlog you might not know that we were actually over in the Isle of Man visiting Alex's parents which was a really really lovely way to spend a long weekend. We actually ended up surprising his dad. His dad didn't realise that we were coming over and we just had the best weekend. I put a lot of footage in actually in that last vlog so if you want to see some like crazy family time and just what we got up to whilst we were on the Isle of Man go and check that out. I'm not feeling too tired this morning because travel back from the Isle of Man isn't too bad like obviously it's a really really short flight but this is probably the most Isle of Man thing in the world we actually ended up getting delayed because the flight heading to us was a little bit delayed there's been a lot of congestion um what's going on with my hair there's been a lot of congestion on the Gatwick runway at the moment because they've only got run one runway so often like planes literally have to queue so the plane coming over to us was a little bit delayed which meant that like everyone boarding got delayed and it just meant that we missed our um takeoff time now normally in an airport if you miss your takeoff time it's not the end of the world not in the Isle of Man the pilot literally came onto the tannoy and was like, um, right, everyone, so sorry about the delay. Thank you, everyone, for getting on board. Really sorry to let you know. We're actually going to be delayed a little bit further. And I'm not going to lie to you. This is a first for me, but they have closed the control deck. They've closed the control tower for 45 minutes. There's one person that works on the control tower. And by the time the plane was ready to take off, he went on his break. <laughs> on the plane on the runway just waiting for someone to come back onto the control to say yep yeah, you're good to go for 45 minutes honestly it was one of the funniest things in the world and if that's not the most isle of man thing i've ever heard then i don't know what is but we got home about mid-afternoon yesterday so we've had a lot of time just to like relax get all the washing done get ourselves sorted and get back into life but it kind of is weird because it feels like a tuesday no it's a tuesday today but it feels like a monday it's one of those where because you know what it's like when you have a long weekend and you just I feel like I need a holiday from my holiday. My body has not recovered yet. It's all been go, go, go. So um, yeah, today is just gonna be a bit of a chilled one. I actually have a workout plan tonight that I'm really, really looking forward to. And if I'm playing with my hair a lot, I'm sorry, but I've actually used something new today. I am not gonna lie, my hair kind of freaked out from being over there. We were only there for four days, but I washed my hair twice and I think it was just the water. If you're from anywhere around London, I feel like down south has it worst we have really really hard water like our water coming out of the tap is awful i always use a brita filter i never even like use it for my appliances the tap water like i always put it through a filter first and then put it in like the kettle or the coffee machine because the lime scale in our water is just awful so obviously my hair is very much used to hard water so i think using the really really soft water on the isle of man it just freaked out a little bit i feel like my hair was looking really really weird in the whole of that last vlog um so i used a couple of products i'm not actually trying Tried before but i've heard really really good things i saw this i think it was on a tiktok i believe this is a product that's been kind of going viral goodness me it's getting all caught up in the collar of my dress now as well um but i believe this went viral on tiktok and that's how i found it it's the l'oreal elvive bond repair and i love l'oreal hair products like they have so many gorgeous hair products i love their hair masks their professional range i really really love them so when I saw this online, I thought I would give that a try. So I used the Bond Repair Leave-In Serum just to kind of give my hair a little bit of like softness back to it because it just felt really, really dry. It was weird. It was like dry and fluffy is the best way to describe it. So I used that. Um, and then I also, I've literally just brought them out of the shower so they are a little bit wet. Um, but I also used the shampoo and conditioner because I thought I would just give them a try because everyone says that they are absolutely amazing. So it is a conditioner and shampoo that rebuilds broken hair bonds it's got citric acid which is absolutely amazing um let me read you what it says oh god i'm getting dripped on let me read you what it says because i feel like it's always really useful to like read the kind of like descriptions from the actual brand themselves so it says hair is made up of millions of bonds that give it structure and strength when a hair bond breaks through brushing bleaching heating and styling hair becomes weak and damaged for the first time our formula powered with citric acid targets damaged hair and hair is apparently restored up to its original strength with 98% less breakage and 90% more shine. So I felt like that's kind of what I just really needed. I just needed something to get like really deep into the, almost like the root. <laughs> 
pun not intended, the root of my hair essentially into like the deep molecules of my hair. So really, really excited about those because I really liked how they felt this morning. I feel like it's probably going to be one of those that I don't use every day because it might get a little bit heavy on my hair, but it's definitely feeling like it's got a little bit more of a shine back and I think this has really, really helped. So really liked that serum. Um, but yeah, as I said, today's just going to be a bit of a like getting back into work. Today I've still got a bit of like washing. I need to unload the dishwasher, all of those like little house tasks that you've got to get done throughout the day. I think I'm just going to try and take it easy, ease back into work mode and ease back into like everyday life. I feel like my outfit of the day is quite symbolic of that. This kind of like back into work life. It's this really gorgeous shirt dress that I showed you from River Island just before I left. I actually chose to take off the belt. Number one, because I'm just at home today and I want to be comfy. But number two, I actually think taking off the belt, weirdly, makes it look a little bit smarter. And I do have a few calls today. I've got a lot of nitty gritty bits to do with work this week. Like a lot of collaboration prep and kind of like things that I can't really film or like show you on camera, boring parts of my job basically. And I feel like this is one of those dresses that just makes me feel like I'm like in work mode, but like summer work mode. I thought this would be a great dress to get me back into the swing thing. So I'll leave it linked down below because it's one of those dresses that I just absolutely love. It would make a great travel dress. It's making it a great workwear dress. This would be a great dress to go back into the office. Like it's one of those that I just know I'm gonna get so much wear out of. One thing that I came home to yesterday though that I just have to tell you about because I think this is the cutest thing ever. If you don't know, I get on really, really well with my neighbor next door. Both of my neighbors actually are so, so lovely. But one of my neighbors is literally the gardening queen. Like she has the most amazing roses. You can probably see them like coming over our um, garden fence. And she's the one who actually encouraged me to get into sweet pea growing. Um, so last year she would literally just stick her head over the fence and offer me just posies and posies and sweet peas and the scent is what just made me fall in love with them um they were actually also my granny's favorite flower so it kind of like makes me feel like i'm a bit closer to her as well um by growing my own sweet peas so she's the one that really really got me into it and she always gives me like gardening tips and advice and i'm assuming she kind of like came around and knocked when we weren't in um and we just had my house sitter in at the moment my brother came around to house sit and water all the plants for us and she's literally given a hand not even handwritten sorry a typed up note to say this. Last week I was listening to Gardener's Question Time on Radio 4, which I sometimes remember too, as there were often useful hints and tips. They were talking about pruning wisteria and I immediately thought of you and your lovely climbing one. You may already know this, so sorry if that's the case, but just in case this might be helpful, here goes. It was the renowned medal winner gardener, the medal winning gardener Chris Birdshaw, who said, All you need to do is just remember the two, four, an eight and 16 rule, which means in February, you cut back to four buds on the long straggly roots. And in August, you cut back to 16 buds on those long shoots. This will keep your wisteria in control, but will also help to produce many lovely flowers. So dear Ellie, hope that helps. That's it. <laughs> And literally, it is just the cutest little note that I have ever, ever come back to. And I'm definitely going to take that advice into consideration when it comes to the garden, because I'm not gonna lie, already the wisteria has gone mad again. Absolutely mad. And oh my gosh, I can't believe I've forgotten to update you this. I actually had someone on my threads ask me the other day how Ellie versus Pigeon's going. I'm currently using cardboard, which seems to be stopping it. So that is a Weetabix box in my wisteria right now. But as you can see, look how many shoots have already sprouted back up i think it's because we've been watering and feeding it we've got this one which is coming down massively like look at this tendril it's absolutely mad so i need to count basically 16 buds to make sure that i keep it really healthy for the summer months and keep it growing through the wisteria but it's so nice to come back to a garden that has been well maintained and well looked after everything is looking absolutely beautiful despite the fact that the weather it's not really weathering today I'm not gonna lie to you, I am quite a fair weather gardener. I much prefer being out in the garden when we've got like glorious sunshine and I can just be out and like pot about. When the weather's like this, it just really doesn't call for me to be outside. Um, so I think I'm gonna wait and do all of my like gardening jobs at the weekend, because fingers crossed we should have nice weather this weekend. I feel like this July has been a bit weird. We had glorious weather in June, but this July we've kind of been up and down. It's been like sunny and then rainy, and sunny, then cloudy. Like it's been a bit of a weird weather month. Um, but I have some advice that I need from you guys because I have got a little bit of a problem with another gardening piece over here. I need to fix that curtain. Alex has done an awful job of that. Um, but my parsley is spreading. 
and I didn't know that parsley was a spreader, no one really warned me of that, but I don't know if you can see, we've got little shoots in the chive and little shoots in the rosemary. So I need to ask you guys, how do I stop that from happening? Like all I can really do is just kind of pull them out and hope that they don't really like properly take root. Um, these ones seem to be growing a little bit. I don't know what I've done to cause that because this one is kind of like very separate. All I do is kind of water them all. So I don't know how it's done that, but is it gonna keep doing it? Do I need to like put it in its own separate pot a bit more like my basil and my mint? I mean, look at how tall my mint has gotten. It's absolute madness. Um, but yeah, let me know. Give your best gardening advice to stop parsley from spreading because you guys are so knowledgeable when it comes to gardening. I always, always appreciate your value. No, not your values. I always value your advice that you give me. <laughs> well, a morning of meetings done and dusted and I'm feeling really inspired after that, actually. It's quite funny. I feel like I either... I'm like a pendulum. I swing one of either way. I either come away from like a morning of meetings and a morning of Zoom calls feeling a little bit drained, obviously like very like socialized out. Sometimes I feel a little bit overwhelmed with what's coming, but today I literally just feel like a fire has been lit in my belly. And I think it's just because of my manager Liv. She is just a ray of sunshine. I haven't really spoken to you much about my manager Liv. It's quite funny. I feel like there are certain things where it's like, they're huge in my life. If I've not spoken about it on YouTube, you may be not aware of it happening. Um, but basically my manager Liv is literally her title is best friend slash manager. Like I just absolutely adore her to pieces. Not a day goes by when we don't speak, whether that's about work or about personal life. 90% of the time it's about personal life, but I love her to pieces, absolutely love her to pieces. And she's currently living in Rome literally living her best Lizzie McGuire life. Like every time I chat to her, she's like, yeah, so I had a walk to the Trevi Fountain today. Yeah, I'm taking a weekend down to go and visit, is it Tr Trocero? Trocero, something like that. Like she'll literally take a weekend to go to like Provence. And I'm like, I am so jealous of you right now. Like she's just living her best life. So I really, really want to try and make a trip out to visit her while she's living in Rome. I think that would be so fun to do maybe in like early autumn time to escape British autumn and like go over and still get a little bit of sun out in Italy but um yeah she's literally a ray of sunshine so we spent the majority of our ch call today just chatting about what's going on in life like I feel like we always do this where we're like okay let's talk about work things right this is what's going on oh but give me an update on like what's happened with that and like tell me how you're doing and give me the goss like honestly I just love it chatting with her so I feel really like I feel like her energy, she just gives me good energy whenever we speak. So I'm in a very, very good mood now, but I'm not gonna lie, it's really mad that we're already talking about like autumn winter campaigns. We've been talking about lots of exciting things that are coming. And honestly, every time that I like have these kind of like cool days, I just wanna like thank you guys for all of your support and all of your love because I wouldn't be in this job if it wasn't for you. And I count my lucky cells every single day, all of the exciting opportunities that come my way and everything that is happening. Like I do feel like in this industry, I'm a bit different to a lot of people. Like I'm not the kind of person that wants to go on all these crazy press trips and like is at events every other day. Like I do, live quite a vanilla life, I think is the best way to describe it. Um, but the fact that these brands wanna like work with me and that they trust me, honestly, it just, I feel so, so honored. And speaking of, I'm actually working with this brand over on Instagram, um, but I wanted to show you the pieces that I picked up because this is a brand that I know so many of you guys absolutely love, and that is Hobbs. Now I feel like Hobbs are one of those brands, and I know that I speak about this a lot, and I know I use this word a lot, so I hope it's not becoming like a buzzword, but I feel like Hobbs's clothes are just ageless. And it's something I know I've been chatting about a lot, but it's something I kind of like pride myself on as I do feel like my fashion is quite ageless as well. I constantly get comments like, Ellie, you do not dress your age. Like Ellie, my mum would wear that dress. Ellie, you don't look like a normal 25 year old. And I take pride in that because I wanna make sure that I'm wearing clothes now that I would happily wear well into my 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and hopefully beyond because I just, I want to feel like a mature feminine woman in my outfits. Like I don't want to feel like a girl anymore. I don't want to dress like a teenager. I want to dress like a woman basically, which is why I love my like feminine cuts. I love my silhouettes. And I really, really love brands like Hobbs because they just create such gorgeous, high quality pieces. So I will link everything that I've been shopping at down below. Make sure to keep an eye out if it's not already gone live over on Instagram where I am working with them. But I wanted to show you everything that I picked up because sometimes when I work with brands and I show you the pieces that I picked up, like over on the Instagram on the ad, you don't get to see the other bits that are also just as gorgeous. So let me show you what I've been picking up. 
starting with shoes now this pair of shoes i feel like i am going to get so much wear out of because if you remember a few weeks ago it might be a couple of months ago now when i placed my little asos haul i picked up some new june slides there was one pair that i loved and actually it was really difficult there was quite a contradicted verdict a lot of you guys were like keep them they're really fun and a lot of you were like i just don't see where you're gonna wear them there was something about them that was just not quite right and when i saw these on hobbs i was like that's it that is the pair that i have been looking for so first of all can we appreciate that it comes with a little dust bag i love it when shoes come with a dust bag i feel like it's just such a great way to keep them so much cleaner but we have the most beautiful pair of green slides in here now i have been loving green for summer i feel like it's a really fun summery color and the slides that i bought, bought off asos the june slides they were just not quite the right tone whereas these are exactly what i was looking for like a really gorgeous kind of like mid forest green i feel like they're coming up a little bit brighter on camera than they actually are but they've got this gorgeous like braided kind of crisscross strap over the top love the fact that they're this like really soft leather and i just love the fact that they're green i feel like they're just going to be so much fun for summer and actually i feel like green with regards to shoes isn't too difficult to style up because i feel like i can easily wear my black wiser basket bag basket bag <laughs> basket bag or like my Loewe basket bag or just anything that's maybe got a bit more of like a natural raffia to it I feel like will go really really well with these and especially with a dress like this if you just want to like dress it up a little bit make it a little bit more fun I just thought these were gorgeous they also had them in a couple of different colors so I will leave all of them linked down below because if you're looking for a new pair of slides I feel like I found the perfect ones now dresses this most likely will be the dress that you will have seen on my instagram because this is the one that i'm thinking about shooting for the campaign because is this not just the most ellie dress you have ever ever seen it's this really really gorgeous little ditzy floral kind of creamy yellow prints now i'm not normally a yellow girl but as soon as i saw this i fell in love and one thing to know actually about all of these dresses i'm about to show you all of these clothing pieces they're all actually from the limited edition range at hobbs which is a new concept that they have which is really really exciting so if you are to pick any of them up be quick because they are limited edition but i got this in a 12 and i just think it's going to be the perfect fit i feel like this is such a gorgeous like garden party dress this could actually be a workwear dress this is one of those dresses that i feel like you could just wear to so many different occasions i always get asked about weddings i feel like weddings it's not quite formal enough for and also it's probably a little bit too on the kind of creamy side i mean obviously you can see i'm wearing white now it's not white but i feel like it's just too ambiguous if you were to wear this to a wedding and i also just feel like it's not quite smart enough for me this is more of just like an everyday gorgeous weekend dress this is the kind of thing that i love to live in especially on days like today when i just know i'm gonna be at home i want to feel comfortable yet feminine and pretty like this is just such an ageless dress i absolutely love it oh my gosh how stunning is this dress oh this is just the most early dress i think i've ever laid my eyes on and how cute does it look with the slides the green actually works so so well with the dress i feel like it actually brings out the yellow a little bit more which as i said normally i'm not a yellow girl but i'm kind of loving the yellow in this dress i think it just really really works i love the silhouette of it it's such a gorgeous bodice i love the little puff sleeves they're perfect if you're a girl who doesn't normally like a big puff sleeve you just want something like little to kind of just elongate your torso and make your body look longer i know i talk about this all the time as a shorter girl but it really does help to make you look taller i just love the print as well the pattern is gorgeous and the quality it's absolutely amazing. Oh, this is a dress I think I'm going to live in this summer. The next dress to show you is actually in plastic that I need to um, take off. I don't like it when brands send you things in the plastic. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary because everything was all wrapped up really nicely. But I think it's because of the material of this. Now, if you look at this dress, it's this really, really gorgeous very different for me zebra print dress and i feel like it's been such a long time since i dabbled in animal print but i really love it i feel like it just makes such a gorgeous like evening wear and this to me is very much like a gorgeous evening dress this is the kind of dress that i just think i would live in in like middle ages i think this is such a stunning like middle-aged woman dress in the best way possible this looks like the kind of thing that alex's mum would wear i actually think she wore something kind of similar to his graduation if i remember correctly but this is stunning this would make such a good 
graduation dress. I do actually need to plan that because I do have my little brother's graduation coming up. So I need to decide what I'm going to wear to that. Um, so this would be great if you're graduating yourself or you're attending someone else's graduation. This would also make a stunning dress for like evening dinners or galas or anything like that throughout the summer months. I feel like this is a, just a slightly more formal dress for me it's a bit more like verging on an evening dress but it's such a stunning shape i love the material it's like really nice and structured and again an ageless dress that i can see myself keeping in my wardrobe for years and years and years another absolute win from hobbs i mean i don't really think it goes with the slides but i couldn't be bothered to change my shoes i love this i think this is a great contender as like a graduation outfit i might just send this as a photo to the family whatsapp and see what they think of me wearing this to my little brother's graduation but i love the zebra print i think it's stunning it almost looks kind of like hairs like the way that they've done the texture of it is just gorgeous and i love the silhouette it's just like a really lovely just kind of skims the bodice with both of these dresses i think i probably could have gone down if i wanted to but i quite like it when there's like a little bit of room especially if you're wanting to wear this to like a wedding or something and you want to have room to dance and to eat and just to be super super comfy so really really love this dress the skirt i think for me is what just does it it's such a gorgeous material it's like a scuba material but it just moves so so beautifully so but also recommend recommend this dress this is an absolute win and the last thing i picked up is not a dress at all but actually a little cardi and i know that july is probably a bit of an odd time to pick up a card again but actually i disagree because this has been the month that i've really realized how much i'm missing just a cute little cardigan in my wardrobe i'm the kind of person that gets cold really easily and especially with how kind of like weird our weather's been on the rainy days it is quite chilly and i still want to be wearing like my nice summer dresses but i just need that extra layer if i'm like sitting taking calls i get really cold when i'm on my laptop for traveling when i'm on the plane i always get really really cold so i think it's so nice just to have something super easy to chuck over your shoulders and when i saw this little striped number i could not resist i mean is there any Anything more classic than just a Breton striped knitted cardigan? I think not. I feel like it's going to go so well with the dress I'm wearing. It's going to go with so many pieces in my wardrobe. And it's just the easiest thing to chuck over your shoulders whenever you need that slight bit of extra warmth. So I also pick this up too. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this cardigan. I've just chucked it over my shoulders because this is kind of like how I would mainly be wearing it. It's just a little extra layering piece, kind of like you would with like a blazer or something just for a little extra warmth. But if I wanted to put it on as well, it still just looks super, super cute. I just love the length of it, love the fit. And it's just like the perfect thickness in a cardigan. Not too thick, not too chunky. Perfect for this time of year. So absolutely loving this. I feel like this is going to be a cardigan that I keep in my wardrobe for years and years and years. As I said, this isn't a part of the collaboration. But what I will do is just link to Hobbs' limited edition range down below. Because they had so many other gorgeous pieces. If you're into colour, they have some stunning like block colour pieces which is very kate middleton vibes at the moment like all of her outfits i've been really really loving they're not me but they're really like bright and bold she's been going for like royal blues and reds and like pastels and it's just been so so gorgeous so i will leave it linked down below if you do want to check out the rest of the collection thank you so much well I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I completely forgot that these were coming. Is the sun coming out? Oh, it looks like we might actually have a nice bright evening, but I completely forgot these were coming. This is a gorgeous delivery from a brand called Hot. You're gonna have to tell me how to pronounce this. Hot, I think it's almost like Hot Couture. Please comment down below how I pronounce this. I know I say my H's weirdly as well, by the way. I always get a lot of comments on it, but I am just a very like, enunciated person and in particularly england but i think in my part of the country we don't say h we say h with like a huh sound so hot potentially is the way that you pronounce it but they got in touch with me and basically offered to send me a gorgeous bunch of flowers when they discovered that i had relaunched my home account on instagram which is really really lovely oh my goodness the box is like bigger than me <laughs> bring this down because this is absolutely ridiculous so introducing a pay-as-you-glow flower subscriptions excellent exuberant excellence with every delivery as seen in vogue that's very very exciting oh we have some discounts here say th oh say 30 percent on retail prices wow factor with every delivery no commitment or contract free hot votive candle very very nice um so in here we have oh, a little note 
Ellie, we hope you love your pretty peonies and stocks from Hope Florist. We have peonies and stocks. Oh my goodness me. This is absolutely, wow. This is stunning. Look at those. I feel like you always know that you're in like a really, really special bouquet when they look stunning, when they immediately come out of the packaging. Look at how gorgeous those are. I'm gonna give them a trim and give them a drink and they're gonna be the perfect addition in this area. Cause as you can see, it's looking rather plain right now. So this is going to just freshen it up. My goodness me how stunning are these so we've got some gorgeous fluffy white peonies which just absolutely adores these are stocks which i also believe are is it snapdragons you guys always know correct me down below which just look absolutely gorgeous but i believe another word for them is stocks and then we've got these stunning pink peonies which haven't quite come out yet i actually have seen some really great advice about peony maintenance number one obviously cutting it every single day um just to make sure that obviously it lasts for as long as possible but if you have peonies that aren't coming out of their buds dip them in freezing cold water it apparently wakes them up a little bit and basically kind of encourages them to come out and it also means that if there's any like sap on them if there's anything that's kind of sticking at the petals together hopefully it will wash that off so little piece of peony maintenance there but how gorgeous does this look i absolutely love this little display we have on our kitchen aisle i feel like it really really works well our kitchen aisle i like to keep quite plain and quite minimalistic all i really ever use um is this to decorate i've got my little highland coo which i can't remember what we called him i never really use his name but the two that we keep in the hallway i do no idea why there is a random 5p there does anyone live with a man and just end up with like random change around the house um i then also like to keep just like a little room spray if ever we need like a little top up if ever we can kind of like smell dinner or anything like that um so i just use the little marble tray there and then we've got our chopping board which i like to keep out um and then i love being able to just refresh this corner hello sunshine um i love being able to just refresh this corner with fresh flowers anything a little bit more seasonal and seeing as though we really are coming to the end of peony season i feel like now is the time to make the most of it so thank you so much hawk chore that's such a lovely evening delivery oh my goodness oh no i've lost a flower <laughs> but that is such a lovely evening delivery to have received
good morning everyone i've been having the most wholesome morning this morning it has been so so lovely to be out in the garden and just getting back to nature a little bit this morning i decided i wanted a bit of an early morning in the garden this morning because despite the fact that we were only away for a matter of days i feel like now is the time of year where there is so much change like things are just changing so so rapidly in the garden and i really needed to do a little bit of flower maintenance a little bit of my veg shrug maintenance and just tidy things up a little bit and after having my lovely flower delivery yesterday which is looking absolutely beautiful look at these peonies the pink ones so that started to come out yet and they are just looking absolutely stunning but it has inspired me to basically fill the kitchen with some more flowers because i do absolutely love all of my posy vases and my flowers are just in absolute abundance at the moment so i've done a little posy vase of just begonias which i really really like i've gone for whites and pinks and then i've also done a little bit of a mixture in this one so we've got some um dahlias we've got some begonias i've done a little bit of salvia and some eucalyptus as well oh dear i think i've just heard there is a womble bee up in the velux <laughs> we're gonna have to get him out because i think they're always attracted whenever they see the flowers in the kitchen and then they always end up getting stuck up there but um yeah it's just been the loveliest start to my morning just getting back to nature doing a little bit of maintenance out in the garden and getting it getting it looking beautiful again when i was getting ready this morning i wanted to have a little bit of a play about with some makeup i feel like it's been such a long time since i probably just sat down took my time with my makeup and i figured seeing as though i was having a bit more of a wholesome morning i would take the opportunity today and there is a product that i used today and i feel like this is the epitome of a love hate product and i know for a fact that i'm not the only one that loves and hates this product and that is the chanel la beige bronzer this is a cream bronzer with which sometimes when I apply it, it gives me the most amazing glow. I love the shade range. I love how it looks on my skin. It applies so smoothly. And sometimes I feel like it looks like an orange streak on my face. Like I don't know what it is, but today was a love relationship with this bronzer. I feel like it's one of those where when I've not tried it for a while, when I try it again, I'm like, why did I ever stop using this? I love this because I really, really love the kind of like glow that it has given me. It's just given me like a really lovely warm glow. It's definitely very, very warm toned, um, but I love this. And it also reminded me how much I love using cream products, especially in the summer. I feel like cream products are just such a great way of being able to kind of like apply the product but without like taking away the glow like it just really gives you that summery sunshine glow which i absolutely love so use this this morning and i have not used it in ages and i absolutely love it and speaking of glow i also used this morning for the first time in ages the laura mercier this is the translucent loose setting powder the light catch-up powder this is in the shade honey star honey stars so it's a little bit dark for me which i feel like really really helps again creating that like really bronzy warm summery glow and this is a powder that i absolutely adore but one of the reasons why i always fall the off fall off the bandwagon whenever i use this is because it's a loose powder and obviously whenever i'm traveling if i'm like going places i just cannot take this with me um so i always end up like discovering other set powders and then falling in love with them but especially if you're just like at home keeping it on your makeup desk this is such an amazing powder and they do a few different like shades of this it's basically a great powder if you are an oily girl and you want to take away that oil you want to take away that sheen but you don't want to lose the glow i've tried so many especially loose powders that i feel like just really give you that like matte one dimensional look to your face whereas this doesn't give that at all i really really love how this applies i'm going to do a little bit more actually because it's just such a gorgeous one and so so great if you are looking just like a kind of do it right at the top around my chin and on my nose and it just takes away that like initial sheen that you don't really want to have one thing that i do with it if i am going to take it away is i just put like a little cotton pad inside so that it doesn't explode absolutely everywhere but um yeah loving applying those to me i feel like it's been such a long time since i just had fun with my makeup when i just sat down and i just took my time applying products and saw how they would kind of like sit on my face and how i'd like utilize them i feel like normally i'm in such a rush to apply my makeup so that was quite fun this morning to re rediscover I feel like I can't get my words out today to rediscover some old favorites. So let me know if you've rediscovered anything down below. Some like oldies but goodies. You know products that's like everyone's like, oh yes. Like I feel like one of them is like the Elemis Cleansing Balm. There are so many people that every time I mention it, they're like, oh my God, I used to love this balm. I've not tried it in ages. So comment down below if there's anything that you have been trying recently because I am really enjoying rediscovering old favorites at the moment. Um, you might be able to see actually behind me. 
I've got my Bowden dress hanging up. Now, if you've been following along, you might know that this is a dress that unfortunately has basically been ruined. It's really, really sad, but it has the tiniest little dot here. And I literally have taken it to the dry cleaners. We cannot get it out. And I was saying, oh, <laughs> oh my God, dropping it. So I was saying in a recent video that unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye to this dress. But let me tell you, I might not actually have to say goodbye to this dress. So it's currently hanging up because I am about to package it up and send it off to a lovely lady named Jane. So Jane, if you're watching, the dress may have already arrived by this point or is en route to you because she has very, very kindly offered me something which I actually think is genius. And I feel like, Jane, I almost feel like you should offer this as a service. Like create a business to do this because the amount of dresses I've had to say goodbye to because they either have holes in or they've got stains on or there's just like something that's maybe like a little bit ruined about it. And what Jane is gonna do is she's going to embroider onto the dress. She's gonna cover the marks with little flowers. And I am so excited about this because number one, it means that I don't have to get rid of a dress that I absolutely adore, I absolutely love, and it's just like so comfortable and such an amazing fit. Number two, I'm gonna have a completely unique dress. So if anyone ever says, oh my goodness, where's that dress from? I'll be able to be like, well, I'm really sorry. You can't get it because it's completely unique and has been bespoke made by the lovely Jane. So I'm really, really excited to see what she's going to be able to do. It is the kindest offer I have ever gotten. Like Jane, I am so, so grateful right now because it means I don't have to get rid of the dress and I feel like this reminds me of I can't remember what it's called but you know the Japanese method whenever like something breaks or like chips where they fill it with gold and it actually means the product is more valuable and more special because it has the gold inside and it basically highlights the imperfections and shows that imperfections are actually beautiful that's what this kind of reminds me of I feel like this is that for clothes and I just think it's absolutely genius so um yeah if you have any old clothes that you may be thinking about getting rid of because they've got like holes or they've got stains or anything like that maybe give this a try and um jane if you're going to offer your services i would definitely recommend creating like a little etsy store because i think there's actually quite a big market for this this is quite a gap in the market like i don't know anyone that is offering this as a service or offering this as like a kind of way to be able to restore old dresses i think it's just such an amazing idea so i'm going to package that up now and i'm going to send that off to jane today it is quite a while later now and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have been the world's worst vlogger today. I've actually just been the world's worst employee. Luckily, I'm my own boss because I always make jokes about this with people. If ever we talk about like, you know, how work's going, I'm also like, oh, my boss, she cracks the whip. She is a tough cookie. Or like if ever it's talking about holiday, I'm like, mm, gonna have to see if I can get approval from the boss. Um, but yeah, today's been one of those days I've just not been in work mode. So I've been back out in the garden doing a little bit of like maintenance, just tidying things up I feel like it does get a little bit unruly at this time of the day and let me show you my veg patch this needed a bit of a tidy up as well um but the peppers are huge look at that oh my goodness me I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually pick it how big they're actually going to be able to get um but these have grown exponentially as well which is so so exciting I feel like my onions are almost there I might actually pull one out let's see how big they're getting because we've got some friends coming over and it would be so cool to be able to use my own onions these are getting really really thick oh oh my gosh it's oh my god it's like actually almost onion size now <gasps> that is so exciting the last time i pulled it up it was literally like the size of a 5p coin that is massive look at how much there is like people keep asking me if these are um spring onions because they think you can eat this but no they are just regular onions um but look at how big that's getting that is so so exciting then i also need to harvest some more of my little tomatoes because they are looking good and we actually have friends coming around tonight so i think i'm gonna make a salad from the veg garden but i cannot wait until i can start harvesting the we have so many on here as well i can't believe it like honestly because it took so so long for these to start actually doing anything i was convinced we weren't going to get any peppers this year but look there's another one there that one's oh my god i didn't even see that one that one's huge look at it compared to the size of my hand <gasps> that is so so exciting and we've also got some over here as well they're doing really really well oh it's making me so happy so as i mentioned we have got friends coming around just for dinner tonight which will be so so lovely because we've not seen them in a little while so what i'm planning on doing i feel like honestly at this point i need to be sponsored by mns because <laughs> the amount of times that we shop from mns we like to call this a bougie Nando's, which is basically a kind of Nando's-esque meal, but done at home. I do like a nice little tablescape. We have like some wine and we just make it a little bit more 
bougie than actually going to Nando's. Um, so you can pick these up at m &S. They're like in a big meal deal. And I think they only do it for summer. Um, and it's so easy because if you're like me and you don't like cooking, just bung it in the oven. And it's so simple, but tastes amazing. So we've got a piri piri half chicken here, which is absolutely delicious. We then get, I think it's like four. Oh yeah, it's um, like two or three sides or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but I always pick up a little coleslaw as well. I would love to learn how to make my own coleslaw actually maybe i should have a look into some recipes because that would be absolutely amazing i love coleslaw and to be able to do my own that would be really really fun um yes we get some spicy rice which is always really really lovely i need to dose mine in cream because it's way too spicy for me um and then we also get piri piri salted chips which is always so so lovely and then we can just like dish it all out have it as like a big lovely meal for when they come around and everyone can kind of like help themselves and basically act as if we are having the bougiest Nando's in the world. So I'm gonna create a little bit of a tablescape before they arrive and just make it look all pretty. is set and looking wonderful i'm so so happy with this little tablescape that i've created i've used the new zara table linen that i picked up from zara home recently which is currently in the sale i'll leave it linked down below i absolutely love it because it's a bit of a different like waxy material i was planning initially on using this just as an outside tablecloth but actually it works really well with this one as well it's slightly too short but it doesn't bother me too much i quite like the way that it like takes over the entire table normally i'm a table runner kind of girl but i feel like i'm getting into my full table linens at the moment my full tablecloth so really really happy with that and it's quite an eclectic mix but i do feel like when it comes to my tablescapes i always like to make it as eclectic as possible i just kind of like use bits from here and there and i feel like the kind of more eclectic it looks the better even my wine glasses i love these actually these are an old present that I got maybe four or five years ago. They are LSA wine glasses and they're gorgeous. I have the champagne ones of these as well. And what I love about them is each one is unique. So you don't need to worry about, um, you know, like a little, what are they called? When you have your name tag on it or like something to differentiate the wine glasses. Like as long as you know which one's yours, then you don't have to worry because this one's like got a complete plain strip. This one's got in the middle two strips and then that one's at the edge one strip or like three little strips and then that one's like another different pattern. So they're all slightly different. So I love that. And it also means that if ever we do need to replace them or get any wine glasses, it's not the end of the world because they're slightly different anyway. Like I just love that. I feel like when it comes to my crockery and everything like that, I really want to just create more of mixture of different plates different styles different crockeries i just really really love that so i've literally just got some um ms plates these are really boring they're just plain gray but they are so handy and i just always like to put a little napkin in the middle i then just put out these because these i'm going to use for serving so we can put like chips in one rice in the other and then we can put the chicken on my vintage leaf plate by the way don't worry i gave this a good wash before we first used it um but it's already been an absolute winner every time i've used it since everyone has always asked me where it's from and i'm gutted that i can't tell anyone like i'm gutted i don't have an answer because it's a vintage piece i wonder what the brand is lane crawford i wonder if you could look that up online i'll see if i could potentially find it if not i'll link something similar down below and then i'm using my two new posy vases full of flowers we've got my begonias over here we've got my dahlias over here and then i've just done like a little three-piece section i always feel like the power of three works please excuse the fact that the cushions are still here i will put them outside before our guests arrive um but i just have not had a chance we've not really been sitting outside as much recently because the weather has been so unpredictable and sometimes it's not worth putting it in the full 
full storage so I just kind of bring them in here because it just is a lot easier but I will put those away before our guests arrive um but yes I like the power of three so I've done three here I've done my Joe Malone candle which I will light before they arrive this is the honeysuckle and divana this lid isn't actually the lid for this candle this is the lid for the one from the Christmas one ages ago but I use it for this one I just find it really really handy I don't actually know where the lid for that one has gone um I've then got my little Zara jug which I really like this because it can be used as a jug so I can fill it with um my infamous now mojitos um not mojitos what are they called mocktails um or we can use it as a vase i feel like it's got just like a lot of a lot of potential this vase um my dahlia's there and then i always have salt and pepper on the table so that people don't have to ask and then i'll light this candle as well this is a candle that i kind of light just to burn down but i actually don't like it when guests are here because it drips onto the table and it's a little bit messy so this one kind of always looks a little bit unused um because i'd much rather like this one because it doesn't get messy at all so yeah it's looking really really lovely if the sun does stay i might be able to open the bifold doors fully so that we can just enjoy the sunshine whilst our guests are here I know for a fact that as soon as they arrive though, I am not going to remember to pick up the camera because I just get into like hosting mode. I just wanna make sure that everyone's got a drink, that everyone's well watered, everyone's well fed. And obviously I wanna catch up on all of the gossip. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here so that I don't forget to sign it off. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.